Kia ora, I'm Martin Jeff from Repair Detectives, and this video is all about the three C's of repairing. Cleaning, connecting, and correcting. So, first of all, why do things break down? Why do things get broken, stop working? Any ideas? Just pause the video for a moment and have a think. So some ideas I have around this are sometimes things get broken because you accidentally drop them, because as humans we do that sort of thing. Sometimes things get left out in the rain, especially metal things, and they go a bit rusty. So even despite trying our best to care for items, sometimes they also just wear down over time through using them over and over again. So when these things break down or get dirty from too much uh, use, we need to clean them. And to do that, I have a few tools in my toolkit for cleaning. But first of all, what do you think would be some good tools for cleaning? Pause the video and have a think about it. Did you get, have any ideas? Well, let me show you some of the tools I have in my toolbox for cleaning. My number one tool for cleaning small items, a toothbrush. It's an old toothbrush, an old used toothbrush. It's great, get for those bristles just getting in and getting in and around things and getting little bits of dust and gunk out. Uh, secondly, a rag. You can use just water sometimes to clean things, or I also have a little bottle of what's called isopropyl alcohol. Um, it is not for drinking. It is very smelly stuff. In fact, it's the stuff which is in hand sanitizer. Um, very good for cleaning. Other things, sometimes I need to take a little bit of rust or metal off something. So I've got some steel wool here. I have some sandpaper. I even have a nail file, just a little nail file, which is good for taking off little bits of rust. I've got some toothpicks for getting inside things. Um, if I was fixing something like uh, a bike or trying to clean a bike, I might use um, a bigger brush and I might use some detergent or some soap or things like that. So that kind of covers cleaning. Um, the next part of repairing is connecting. So sometimes things break apart and we need to put them back together, re pair them. So again, pause the video and have a little think about what are some of the things that we use to, to connect two things together. All right, so I'll show you some of the things that I have in my toolkit. Um, I have a whole bunch of different types of connectors. I have um, these paper clips. They are good for joining things together. I have these, um, I don't know what kind of clips, but there's some kind of clips here. I've got Velcro. I have some um, string or in this case it's shoelaces. Uh, little bits of metal, twisty ties, are uh, useful for joining things together sometimes. And I have got a few other things in here. Yeah, string, cotton string, plus glue. So glue is often used to connect two things together. Oh, and I've got one more thing to show you. Just hang on a sec. Uh, 
Okay, I have got some of my favorite tools, a soldering iron, and that's for connecting bits of metal together. So often used in electronics and a plastic welder. So the way this works is that you plug it into the wall. It heats up this little wire here, this little bit of wire, and then you melt it into the plastic to join the two sides of the plastic together. So it looks a little bit like that. So I've used it to join the two. Uh, so I've used it to join the two sides of this plastic strainer together to fix that. So that's connecting. And finally, correcting is when through some sort of usage or something has had a fall, something has come out of place inside an object or on the outside. A really simple example would be the bike chain coming off your bike. So just by putting that bike chain back on, you're correcting that and repairing the bike. Kapai. So the three C's, we've got cleaning, connecting, and correcting. So when you're coming up with solutions and ways to fix things, think about the three C's of repair, cleaning, connecting, and correcting.